guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm so excited to be filming. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long. Crap that every YouTuber says. Except the ones that film all the time. Sorry. Whatever. Anyway, I was gonna be filming a huge haul and I actually sat down and looked at the amount of stuff that I have. <sighs> Honestly, the video would literally be like an hour long. I have so much new product that I just decided, you know what, screw it, I'm not gonna film a haul, I'm just gonna do my October favorites since we're already a month into November, gonna film my October favorites, get that up there. And then I'm going to do a new products that I've been loving later on this month because nobody wants to sit there and listen to me talk about 6,000 new things that I bought. I don't think, anyway. Like, I could go on forever. Anyway, let's just get into it. So, what I'm going to do, because this is my second favorites that I filmed, I am going to do a, like, really quick at the start, any products that have been are like returning favorites of mine so I only have two and I'm not gonna go on about them because I talked about them in my last month's favorite the first one is the Lee Swatier <laughs> Luminous Correcting Primer I don't know why I can never remember what this is this is for red skin I have insane crazy red skin this is amazing totally highly recommend this it is a returning favorite and my second returning favorite is my Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder I haven't used anything else to set my under eye concealer. Nothing. These two I have used every single day in September and October. So I mean, it's gotta say something, right? Especially with beauty junkies, we have drawers of makeup. When you're using something for two months straight, it's gotta be good. Okay, moving on. I only have one skincare favorite this month. Ooh. Maybe I'm not really sitting in focus. Oh, hey guys! <laughs> um, anyway, this is the Carez Wild Rose Brightening and Refinishing Buff Cleanser. I actually asked one of my girlfriends, um, how do you say this brand? And she said, I think it's Coors. And I said, okay, I think it's Coors too. And I actually asked one of the girls that works for them, and it is Carez, so I stand corrected. I've been saying it wrong for like... I don't know, a million years or so? <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is awesome. Um, I have really dry skin, so this helps to like get away all the dead flakes. Ooh, it's gross, but it happens. That's just what happens when you have dry skin. It's really gross, but yeah, this has been amazing, and it has been brightening my skin. I can, I can tell that my skin looks brighter. Oh, okay, so I have one foundation this month that I've been really loving, and it's the MAC Face and Body. If you've never tried this, oh my god, okay. If you like a full coverage foundation, you're not going to like this. This is a more sheer coverage. Um, you can build it up to a medium coverage. I just, like, this has been my everyday go-to. It's just really easy to slap on. I use it with my fingers. I find that that works best with this foundation. There's that damn sticky hair again. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I find that that works best. A beauty blender will work good as well. Um, but yeah, I just find that this has been such, such lovingness. Such lovingness. Yeah, this is a re rediscovered favorite. I don't know why I can't talk. This is a rediscovered favorite this month for sure. Um, I've had it for a while now, and I just randomly picked it up and was like, I haven't worn this in a while, and it's a pretty big ass bottle, and it's not, you know what, for how much you get, which is four fluid ounces, and it's like 50 bucks? Yeah, that's a hell of a lot of product for what you're getting. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, next. I have two blushes that I have been absolutely loving. I'm wearing this one right now. These are the Stila watercolor blushes, and I have the shade Rose Water, and Water Lily. I'm wearing Water Lily on my cheeks right now. 
I'm not a huge cream blush fan, to be honest, I'm really not, but these are amazing. All I do is I just take the lid, I tap my finger in there, and then I just kind of tap it along my cheeks. It blends out so, so, so nice, and it honestly, like... I don't know, I can't even say enough good things about it. It stays all day. These are a little bit more, you know, they're like 27 bucks Canadian, which isn't too bad, I don't think. <laughs> but I really like them. I really like the packaging too. I think they're adorable. Please buy the Stila blushes. This isn't even sponsored. <laughs> I'm a loser. Okay. Okay, and we're back. If it looks really, really bright, it's because <laughs> I guess the battery was running low in my ring light and I actually just plugged it in because I can use both. It's on battery or it can be plugged in. And I plugged it in and I was like, whoa, that lady was dying because I am being blinded now by the light. <laughs> anyway, just a recap, just in case you guys didn't understand. Yes, Stila watercolor blushes. So amazing. I want all of the colors. I'm really loving Stila lately. I think I said this in a video before. They've just been killing it for me. And they've got new products coming out soon and I am so excited. Yeah, anyway, highly recommend these, especially if you um, really like cream products. You are gonna love these, girlfriend. Love them. Okay, my next product is a highlight on contour kit and this one, oh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is what it looks like, if you can kind of see it. This is what I have on for like my, it's really really light and then this is my highlight as well. Shabang! This is such an amazing kit. It is so... It, I swear it works for like every skin color. It's, it is a little bit pricey. I had to get pick this up from Beautylish.com. They're a really, really, really amazing website to use. Um, they sent me my stuff in... I ordered it on a Wednesday night at 10 p.m. And my stuff came in the mail at Friday at like 10 a.m. And I didn't pay for shipping because I spent over $100. So I was pretty impressed by that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was blown away, to be honest. But yeah, I it has a mirror in it, so that's a really awesome thing. Um, yeah, I just can't... Here, I'll do a swatch. Like, I barely touched it. This is the most finely milled, amazing product. I just, I highly, highly recommend picking this up if you can. I know it is rather pricey and I don't like recommending like super expensive products. I don't want that to be what my channel is about. Like, hey, look what I have. That's not it at all. I really, really, really do enjoy this. I find that it's really good for travel. I can throw it in there and I'm good to go. And I feel like you can build it up as well. It doesn't get like gross and cakey on your face like some contour products I've used can. Like if you want a more chiseled contour, it tends to look unnatural. This one, it really does look really, really, really natural and so beautiful on the skin. Okay, I don't have that many things. Okay, the next thing I have is the Tarte Bling It On palette. Ooh, over here. This is the holiday palette that they released, their blush holiday palette, and I am in love with this palette so much. I'm so happy that I picked this up. I didn't pick their holiday palette up last year, and I was really sad. I was mad at myself for not buying it because you get one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I've been watching too much kid television. Well, you get five blushes for like $35. That's freaking amazing because these blushes to themselves are like 32 I think, something around there. Don't quote me on these prices, I'm kind of pulling them out of my ass to be honest. But it's, it's generally around there and these are like, these blushes are amazing. Like they're super pigmented, they're long wearing. These are the 12 hour Amazonian clay blushes, like they're amazing, I absolutely love them. Really, really, really blingy packaging. The only problem with this packaging is that 
for a little while, these little black sparkly things kind of fall off. It's kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie, but it does seem to have ceased for me. Like, there seems to have been, like, a finite amount that were loose or something, and they seem to have all fallen, and I don't know, my vacuum hopefully picked them up, <laughs> but so, so far it has stopped. It also has a really big mirror in it. Let's blind you. I can't. I can't even find you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I swear. <sighs> I've been in my house all weekend and I haven't left. I could be lying. Cuckoo. Just saying. Anyway, yeah. If you can still, this is still on right now. Like you can still buy this on Sephora.com. VIB Rouge sale is on, and then the normal sale is next weekend. So I would highly recommend picking this up. You will not regret it. It will be with you for the whole year. And you, can, I mean, come on. Who who doesn't want this? Yeah. I mean, I love you. I love this palette. I will. I love this palette so much. Okay, we got two products left. Okay, uh, this is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum. Whew. I can barely read because that ring light is like, whoa. <laughs> anyway, this is a newer product from Sephora. I'm actually wearing it today. And I, this is such a good concealer. I absolutely love it. It is, this is the lightest shade. I mean, come on. I'm not trying to kid anybody. I'm pale as hell. Casparitis over here. And... I have just absolutely been really, really liking this. I think it has good coverage. The only thing I don't like about it, if you saw, this is kind of how you have to apply it, like in dots. The applicator is not a dough applicator. It only has like this little part only gets product on it and you have to end up like, it doesn't smear well. So if you want to do like the upside down triangle underneath your eyes, you kind of have to like dot it on and then blend it out so that is the one annoying thing about it but I mean other than that the product is amazing it doesn't crease on me but I don't have a huge issue with products creasing underneath my eyes um, but the only thing is I don't know if you can see that when I go to um, set it with my secret under eye brightening powder which is what I did today there can be little spots like right here and here, but those are my fault. I didn't like completely blend it out good enough. They tend to stick more to that area and then when you set it, it'll really show up. But in like natural daytime lighting, it won't look that bad. But just in case you guys notice that, yes, I do notice it and it's really hard to like fix without redoing all of your makeup. So yeah. Ooh, I'm getting makeup all over my legs. I mean, I'm wearing pants. I am. Okay, I'm not wearing pants, whatever. <laughs> okay, my last product is, oh, don't you love that? Oh, it's so, yeah. You know, I was doing that last night to Wyatt. I was like, isn't this great? He looked at me and was like, Jill, you need to get out of the house more often because <laughs> do you realize what you're being impressed by right now? Aw, there we go. Okay, I'm, I will stop. Anyway, this is the Lancome. This is one of their new matte lipsticks. What I don't like is there's no name. Not that I could read it right now anyway. Blinded by the light. Okay, I'm gonna try and read it. Yeah, it's like a number. It's number 79, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> If I did it wrong, <laughs> I'll put it down below. It's number 79. Anyway, it's their matte lipsticks. I'm kind of thinking I should have worn this in this video so I could show you guys. But I forgot. And I put on a different... I'm wearing Kat Von D Double Dare. And I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a really, really nice baby pink color, and I'm not normally drawn to these colors, but there was just something about it, and I was like, okay. It's just, it's a really, really, really great color. It goes with everything. These are so comfy. These are not liquid lipsticks, obviously. It's a lipstick gel. Ugh. But 
they are really, really nice. Like, they stay on for a good amount of time. Like, I ate, drank, did all that nice stuff, and it still was there. It's not bulletproof. It's not like these, where you could sleep in them, you could get shot in them, and your body would still have your lipstick on it, like, five days later. That took a weird turn. I'm sorry. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh! Don't hate me for that comment. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> for that one. Mm, anyway, let's get back to the lipstick. Yeah. Really, really amazing color. I will be picking up more of these. These are just awesome. I like the smell too. They s remind me of like my grandma Joyce's lipstick. Mm. Like sh maybe she wore Lancome and they all smell like this. I don't think my other Lancome lipstick smells like this one. Ooh. That was lucky. <laughs> yep, yep, it does. <laughs> Apparently I haven't worn it that much. Ooh, he's metal too. Metallic. No. Magnetic. I've got a problem today, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just, I told you I've been in my house all weekend and I'm going a little bit cuckoo. But yeah, so if you've tried these new matte ones, let me know. I think they're amazing. Great color, great pigmentation. Yes, they're a little more expensive. They're like 36 bucks, but totally worth it. Especially if you're gonna wear it all the time. This one I feel like I can wear spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever. But to be honest, I don't really I don't really live by the oh it's fall. I gotta wear vampy lips. Oh, it's oh, except I do have a vampy lip color on. Whatever. I wore this in the summer too. I'm not all about that lifestyle. I'm all about Live your life, girl. Live your life. Okay, I'm gonna end this because I'm just going crazy. I hope you enjoyed my picks for the month. If you haven't X'd out and you're still watching the shenanigans, high five. Love you for it. I hope you have a good night, weekend, day, morning, afternoon, sunshine, rain, snow, whatever. I hope it's a good one. Love you guys. Thanks for